you want to get more sales, but you're not sure where to start or where to find leads for your business. It's one of the biggest questions I get asked by my customers and people I work with all the time. James, where do I get new opportunities from? I'd love to be able to convert them, but I'm not sure where to start. In this video, I'm going to show you six ideas that you can focus on and use in order to generate leads for your business. Let's take a look at the video and let's outline how you can get more prospects coming in at the top of the funnel. So one of the first things I say to people before you start looking at where to generate leads for your business is focus on three things that you have to do, and I'll share a link to a video that I did a few weeks ago around this, that are key before you do any outbound lead generation or marketing prospecting campaign. Firstly, what's your story, why you do it. Secondly, who is your target market, and be very specific about that target group of people that you work and service for. And third, what are the tools that you engage with them? If you try and do some of the things that I'm talking about today without those three things being defined, I can assure you, you are going to waste lots of time and lots of money and lots of effort. And it's going to be a frustrating process. But once you've got those in place, what are the things you can do to get more people at the top of the funnel? First thing is spend some money on social media and PPC marketing. You'd be amazed nowadays using Facebook, LinkedIn, Twitter, you can spend a small amount of money but get lots and lots of engagement through promoted activities, boosting views, boosting videos. For example, I myself will boost videos that I share on Facebook for other people to get a sense of who I am. And the costs for doing that are relatively small. I've probably spent in the last month probably 50, 60 pounds, but I've opened myself for what I do as a sales mentor and trainer up to nearly four or 5,000 people. So you can use social media activities and actually PPC to reach an audience. And I'm not an expert in this space. There are lots of people that know this space really well. And if you do engage here, be careful not to overspend and be very clear about what it is you do. There's a great book called The Conversion Code by a guy called Chris Smith that I recommend you reading. But it's certainly a way in which you can spend a small amount of money to potentially bring new prospects into the business. Point number two is go where your market is. One of the things that I tell people to do is if you sell, for example, a service into the sports industry, then go along to the forums or the areas where those prospects exist. If, for example, you sell a service into, I don't know, hairdressers, go to hairdressers forums, go and actually follow people on Twitter, go follow the groups, connect into groups, maybe on LinkedIn, where those people in that market space are discussing those issues. And be able to not just sell yourself, but talk a little bit about the problems and challenges they have. Build value with those prospects. And then maybe then you can start to include with them how you can maybe solve some of the problems they've got but go where that market is. Go and find the key online platforms, whether it's forums, Facebook groups, LinkedIn groups, where they are, and then subtly work through and engage with that audience and try and show them the value you can create and give them before then trying to actually sell them. This approach is a good route, but it's gonna take a little while to do that. So what's the third thing that you can do? And people might look at me and say, James, you're mad thinking about this but I'm gonna tell you, you have to do it if you really wanna get sales results on a consistent basis. And that's spend some time prospecting and reaching out. What do I mean? Do I mean picking up the phone and talking to people? Yeah, I do. If you really solve a problem or a want for that group of prospects, then being able to get on the phone and talk to them about how you can help them is something that you can do. And yes, there are ways in which to do this. If you feel nervous about it, you've gotta be able to practice and get yourself familiar to be able to make that call. And many people are worried about what will happen if you pick up the phone and talk to someone that's not a customer already. But if you've really got a great service that you offer, you've got a great story, and what you do has helped other similar people to them, you'd be amazed how many people are open to at least having a conversation with you and listening to you, providing you focus on them and what they're looking to do rather than just yourself. I always say to my clients, spend time prospecting or reaching out to people that are in a similar space. And you'd be amazed that out of the 10 or 15 calls you might make on a day or weekly basis, one of the two of them can turn into business and opportunities. So don't be afraid to spend some time prospecting, getting on the phone, engaging, and you'll be amazed at what you can gain from that. Fourth option is to network. I know some of my colleagues in my company before in touch were great networkers. Matt Ruddle was a great networker. And networking is a great way to get you and your business in front of other people. Networking tends to happen locally, but there are lots of national networking organizations that means you can go anywhere, wherever you are, and go along to a meeting or a discussion and share 
ideas and thoughts and tips and meet new people. One of the key things I've learned in networking and one of the things that sometimes happens too much in networking is people go there to try and sell themselves and focus only on them. And as I've said time and time again in sales, the best salespeople have two ears and one mouth. They listen, they really understand, they try and engage with the people they meet and they don't just try and push whatever they do onto them. Assess the people you're engaging with. Some of them won't be a fit for you, but you might find one or two people are and if they could potentially be a fit for you through the networking and discussions you have, show value to them. Maybe meet up with them, give them some advice, give them some thoughts, share some links to them that could be useful. Build value and then you're going to be in a position where they want to potentially then try and work with you. Point number five is go to your existing customers and ask them for referrals. You'll be amazed how many of your existing customers know other people in similar areas and industries. And these guys will generally tend to know the similar people because that's what they do. They connect in and, and work together in certain environments. So if you do work with someone and actually feel that you've got a great relationship with them, don't be afraid to pick up the phone or maybe take them out for a coffee and say, look, I'm looking to try and drive some new business at the moment. Is there anyone else you know in this space that can help or might need what we do? Obviously, if they're a direct competitor, they may not be able to do that. But I've won lots of business in the past when I've engaged with someone and said, We've delivered this great service for you and you're happy. Is there anyone else do you know that could be interested in something similar? And they've recommended someone they know in, in another area of the country who really then has already got that connection with me and actually has already built some trust up in what I do so it makes the sales process much easier. Go and ask your customers for referrals and you'll be amazed how many opportunities can come just from actually asking the question. And point number six is this, is to look at quizzes and other forms of lead magnets, competitions, ideas, incentives that can really be of interest to your prospect and target audience. I've just come off the phone to one of my clients now and we've talked about a new competition that they're gonna to offer to their target audience that's gonna focus on challenging them to challenge the company themselves. And you'd be amazed how many people like to take quizzes, like to take competitions, like to be able to do something that can challenge something, get something in return for that. Obviously, these elements need a little bit of time to put together, but you can get simple tools now, web forms, where you can capture details really easily. And what you've then got, if the idea has been well thought through and it really appeals to the target audience, you've got something that can then be used as a lead magnet to be able to engage new prospects. This idea is a great way. It's one I use myself. If you want to take a, have a look at how I use lead magnets, go onto my website at www.jameswhite.business and take my sales success test. You'll be amazed at how many people will take the test and it then gives me a link so I can then follow up with those people over a period of time. So there are six ideas of how to find leads for your business. The reality is we all need to generate new leads in order to survive and grow and thrive as businesses. New business doesn't just flow into our laps. We have to be prepared to go out there and work and make it happen and take some action on a regular basis in order to make those prospects appear at the top of the funnel. If you're not going to do that, you're simply not going to get the results you want. But if you're prepared to learn, look at some new ideas and take yourself maybe, especially in the form of prospecting, out of your comfort zone a little bit, I can assure you, you will get better results and you will stand a chance of having more prospects at the top of the funnel and that's going to mean the more chance of customers coming through at the end. I hope the video has been useful and given you some ideas on what you can do to generate new leads for your business. My name's James White. I'm the UK's leading prospect conversion expert. And once you've got those prospects into your funnel, if you need some help in moving them through and converting them, have a chat with me. I can help you get better sales results. And I love to share my videos, my thoughts, my ideas, so that you can achieve the goals you want. Thanks for listening and watching the video. And I look forward to sharing more videos with you really soon.